Do those dragons seem tiny to you? You might not be alone when it comes to House of the Dragon viewers. In many ways, House of the Dragon is currently surpassing its predecessor, HBO's massive juggernaut series Game of Thrones. Based on George R. R. Martin's novella Fire and Blood, the prequel and spin-off focuses on a bloody civil war waged amongst members of the Targaryen family, whose royal heritage is related to the fact that they, alone among the Westerosi houses, have the power to bond with and ride dragons. Coming into the show, fans were already familiar with the three miraculous dragons born to Daenerys Targaryen seen on Game of Thrones, but thanks to the fact that House of the Dragon is set 172 years before Daenerys' birth and during the heyday of dragons, there are plenty more to meet in this series. There's one problem, though. The dragons in House of the Dragon are, according to some fans, too small. As one pointed out on X, formerly known as Twitter, Cyrax is sort of tiny-looking. I can't deal with Cyrax being so small. She was a bigger dragon than Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal. Some fans on X, though, have praised the new show's superior effects and approach to the dragons. Understandably, the dragons in House of the Dragon are a much bigger part of the narrative than they were in Game of Thrones, because this time, basically every character has one. As one viewer pointed out, the effects in one scene in A Sun for a Sun, where Rhaenys dismounts from her dragon Melis in a massive chamber at Dragonstone, look incredible. They wrote, It's a brief moment, but this is one of the best images I've seen in live-action fantasy. Love everything about the design of this shot, from the lighting to the sense of scale through great VFX, few if any comparable images in House of the Dragon Season 1, or even Game of Thrones. Let's go back to the relative size of the dragons, though. It's true that in A Sun for a Sun, as Rhaenyra slides off Cyrax on an isolated shore, the dragon looks relatively small. This was never the case in Game of Thrones. At the end of the original show's debut season, Daenerys steps into a massive fire holding three dragon eggs in an era where dragons are believed to be fully extinct. When she emerges the next morning, she's clutching three baby dragons who end up growing at a somewhat alarming rate. As the series continues, Daenerys' dragons get larger and more powerful, and in the show's seventh season, all three dragons look enormous. Viserion is taken down by the Night King in the penultimate episode of season seven, and Rhaegal is shot down by Euron Greyjoy, and in the and Daenerys is left with just Drogon, and every time we see him on screen, it's striking just how enormous he is. During the season 7 episode The Spoils of War, Drogon is so massive that his mere presence crushes Lannister soldiers, and Daenerys always has to work pretty hard to even make her way onto his back. Still, there is one dragon in House of the Dragon whose enormity cannot be denied, and she also happens to be one of the oldest and most infamous dragons in the history of the franchise. Vhagar, who's only mentioned as a legendary beast in House of the Dragon season 1, before she makes her screen debut, is one of the biggest dragons in the entire Game of Thrones universe. And whenever she's on screen, she definitely does look pretty huge. When we do see Vhagar in The Princess and the Queen, the sixth episode of season one, it's during an extremely tragic moment as her rider, Lena Valarian, is experiencing a deadly childbirth and chooses to die by dragonfire rather than succumb to her injuries. After that, Vhagar is supposed to pass to Lena's eldest daughter, Bela, but she's stolen in the dead of night by young Aemond Targaryen. She was mine to claim. Then you should have claimed her. Maybe her cousins can find you a pig to ride. It would suit you. In the altercation over the dragon, Aemond loses an eye after being struck by his nephew, Lucerys Velaryon. This is all to say that years later, Aemond and Lucerys meet again on Dragonback, and it's quite clear that Vhagar is drastically larger than Lucerys' dragon, Arax. The two end up locked in a dragon battle that abruptly ends when Vhagar, burned by a blast of fire from Arax, goes rogue and fatally attacks Lucerys and Arax, killing them both. Vhagar is certainly a massive behemoth, but so far the other dragons on House of the Dragon have to measure up, according to fans. The show airs new episodes every Sunday on HBO and Max at 9 p.m. EST.